The Quiet Hour is a sci-fi thriller that explores the um, goodness and uh, um, darkness in the human spirit. Um, the alien extraterrestrials in the film uh, are metaphors for the harm and damage that we do to the world. Um, on a, a more uh, a direct level, uh, this is the story of a young woman who's protecting her family against marauders and uh, uh, an outside uh, attacking force to the, the world. I first came in, became involved with um, Sean McConville and Stephanie Jolan um, through J.T. O'Neill, who uh, was the director and writer of uh, Opair, Kansas, and had lived here in the Twin Cities. Um, Sean and Stephanie um, currently live in Berlin. They're the um, uh, producers and owners of Frenzy Films. And uh, JT had shared with me the screenplay that Stephanie had written, um, The Quiet Hour. And as John said, it was a page turner. Um, as a result of that, uh, a group of us uh, banded together and helped to uh, uh, invest in the film and support it as producers and executive producers so that uh, much of the support is U.S. based and specifically from Minnesota and Kansas. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to um, uh, County Tipperary, Ireland, where the film was, was shot. Um, but um, we were very active um, in terms of support and uh, Sean and Stephanie kept us all uh, very involved as they went. Stephanie's vision has always been um, in the Arthur Clarke type of um, uh, scenario and uh, I think the film reflects uh, uh, that interest in making a, a, an intelligent, uh, thinking person's uh, thriller. Um, it's definitely not a slasher, um, not a chainsaw type movie. And so uh, I think it really addresses the issues of um, the darkness and the goodness in the human spirit and um, keeps people on the edge of their seat. My initial involvement with Sean and Stephanie was um, to try to um, turn a rough draft novella that I had based on my work in, as a missionary physician in Papua New Guinea back in 86, 87 into a dramatic story. And Sean and Stephanie uh, collaborating, um, I think did an excellent job. The screenplay thus far has finished top 13 out of 4,000 in Scriptapalooza last year. Um, and so we're looking for um, support from a production casting standpoint and have some in Indonesia at this point. Um, the thing that's exciting is that we would be um, filming uh, the first 30 pages here in the Twin Cities. And uh, so uh, working with the Minnesota uh, film uh, group and uh, Snowbait would be an exciting part of that for us. Sean and Stephanie will be coming here from Berlin. Uh, they're tremendously excited to be part of the Twin Cities Film Fest. We're very, very excited and really look forward to it and are, are very privileged to be part of the Twin Cities Film Fest.